So the incidence of coughing, for example, in our patients who were given LMAs, and there were several of these, you'll see was zero. We didn't see any patients with coughing. The incidence, in fact, in various studies for desferrin and isoflurane and sevoflurane and propofol, it's all the same. It's all around 5%, 6%, 7%. And there's no difference among the anesthetics in the response of the airway with administration of anesthesia via an LMA. Let's see that again with this demonstration of induction of anesthesia with desferrin. Not with propofol, but induction of anesthesia with desferrin. Remember we did that? Did it nicely. James did a beautiful job. Senora, voy a darte el carete. Okay. Y puedes respirar despacio y profundo. Es el oxígeno. You have a nice mask fit. So we're inducing anesthesia with nitrous oxide and desferrin. The nitrous oxide is at about 60%. 60%. Inspired. And 45% in time. The desferrin is at about 3%. Senora, baja la mano. Respira profundo y despacio. So we have a little excitement. Just kind of reposition. Yeah. Slightly. Pull the chin back a little more. We had got obstruction about three minutes into anesthesia. Maybe it was two minutes into anesthesia. Same thing that we found in volunteers. We're given anywhere between 2 and 6% desferrin. Brief moment of excitement. That wasn't too bad an induction. And in the volunteers, we could insert an airway without any problem. And in this patient, we could insert an airway without any problem. Any language at all. OK, we have now up to 56% nitrous and 3.8% desferrin. She is still obstructed. I think it's time to put an oral airway in. Can you do that? Yes. All right. You're going to have to be very quick. Can you do that? Yes, sir. All right. Go for it. And now we've got a good end tidal reading, huh? Much better movement of the bag as well. OK, so we are four minutes into the induction and at a level sufficiently deep to allow you to insert an oral airway. Yes, sir. OK, it's just with desferrin nitrous oxide with some pre-medication with midazolam and a standard 100 micrograms of ethylene. And that's all she's got. Now, the desferrin's at 5.2%. And that Exhale. is what kind of reading? It's our exhaled. It's an entitled tidal reading, isn't it? Does that mean her brain's at 5.2%? If her alveolar concentration should be 5.2%. So her brain would be there if it were at equilibrium. If it were. But we've only been going for five minutes, with the brain having a time constant of maybe two or three or four minutes. So we need six or eight minutes before the brain will be at the concentration that we've got in the alveoli. So we're going to wait now for a full 10 minutes. And at that point, we'll see if we can get an LMA in without any other medication. You got to be quick again. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Who thought this couldn't be done with desferrin? I did. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we've been here for 10 minutes now. We've got an end tidal of desferrin at 5.4%. We've got the nitrous oxide at 50%. And you're going to now try and insert an LMA. You've got to do it very quickly because as the gas went in quickly, as we developed an induction quickly, we can also lose it very quickly. Are you yes, ready? Yes, sir. OK. Remember, they said it couldn't be done. Yes, sir. All right, you're going to take this out, remove the oral airway.
Let's just see if she'll breathe spontaneously there. Yeah. And she's breathing spontaneously. Good entitled CO2. Okay. Who was it that said it couldn't be done? Okay. Just so we know. James, we put that laryngeal mask airway in. Tell me, was there any coughing at all? No, sir. None at all. Not one cough? Not one. That's pretty good. Thank you, sir. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we did that for five days. As we put in LMAs, we had no coughing. We didn't have any coughing during maintenance of anesthesia with Desferane or with any of the anesthetics that we chose. 